going to be doing a back to school makeup look and I think this look is perfect for anyone probably in high school or above just because it's kind of a lot of like face makeup. Um, obviously you can add and subtract whatever you want. I kind of just did everything and the best part about this whole tutorial is that it's using only drugstore makeup every single thing in the video is from the drugstore and really affordable so hopefully that's really helpful for everyone like I said it's super simple like the easiest thing ever it's not even really hardly a tutorial so just keep sticking around if you want to see how I got this look and yeah Okay, so to begin, I'm going to just prime my face, and obviously this is optional, but I do think it's helpful, especially if you're spending the entire day at school. And then I'm going in with my favorite foundation. This one is super lightweight, so it doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything and looks super natural for school, but if you don't like foundation, you can totally skip this step and just use concealer, which is what I'm going in with here, and I'm focusing it under the eyes mostly because to wake up so early for school and I always looked super tired and had dark circles so then I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender because it gives a super natural finish and then I'm setting everything with a powder and this one it keeps you matte all day long and you can throw it in your bag for touch up so it's super easy then I'm going to bronze up because I always put on bronzer and I never contoured for school so I didn't really do that. I just put it in kind of all the general areas that you would and then of course taking it down my neck because I want everything to match. And then I'm going to apply a blush. I'm actually using the lightest shade in this e.l.f. blush palette and these blushes last all day. I wore one today actually and it lasted so long. And then I'm just going in with a highlighter. Again, this is really optional, but I like the way it looks and highlighting is really popular right now especially. And then I'm just going with my big fluffy brush and blending everything together again. And that's finished face. And so then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and I personally feel like I can't leave the house without filling in my eyebrows but if you don't need to then you can skip this step. And then I'm just going to set them with a clear brow gel. This one is super inexpensive and I always use it. You guys have probably seen it before. And then I'm going to use a drugstore primer but I never skip that step because the primer is so important. And then I'm just using my bronzer to kind of contour out my eyes a little bit. It just helps to add some depth and then I'm also running that underneath my lower lash line to kind of smoke it out. And then I'm literally just taking my finger and this shimmery eyeshadow. It's super pigmented and I'm just blending this all over my lid to brighten it up a bit. I just think this combination looks really pretty but also natural. And then I like to just smudge a little eyeliner on the outer corner because you can't really tell and I've done this in other videos as well. You, it literally does not have to be perfect at all and I just think it helps define the eyes a little bit. And then of course I'm going to add mascara that is kind of the main focus I guess. Um, I always wore mascara for school. And then I'm just going to apply a lip balm and you could totally leave it at this but I'm going to go ahead and add a nude-ish lipstick because I didn't do a ton of eyeshadow. So this one is a little bit darker than my natural lip color and I absolutely love the color of it and it's literally $2 from the drugstore and it's actually a dupe for Max Velvet Teddy and I'm obsessed. So this is the finished look. I think it's super fresh face for back to school and I hope you guys liked it. so that is the finished makeup tutorial hopefully you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and then of course leave any more back to school requests in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Sit on my side.